As we age, the crystalline lens becomes increasingly yellowish, and the pigmentation of the lens results in decreasing transmittance of visible blue light. This is attributable to several factors, such as oxidation products of tryptophan and glycosylation of lens proteins. Blue light has significant retinal phototoxicity, but it is essential for vision in dim light and perhaps other important biological functions. A progressive increase in absorbance within the blue light spectrum occurs due to color changes in the aging crystalline lens. When the cataractous lens is removed and replaced by an intraocular lens with UV filter, a dramatic increase in the ocular transmittance of radiation occurs. UV filter IOLs are supposed to confer protection against radiation below 400 nanometers. New types of yellow IOLs have a filtering effect that mimics that of the aging human lens by blocking UVR and attenuating violet, blue and even some green light. This blue light blocking IOL exhibits a threshold elevation at violet light, which is 410 nanometers, and a blue light, which is about 450 nanometers. Night vision is a major problem for older adults. Therefore, Concern has been expressed that implantation of IOLs that attenuate blue light will reduce visual performance in color vision and at mesopic and scotopic light levels. Because standard clinical tests provide only little information on IOL performance in daily life activity, we developed a specific camera setting for real-life visualization. Therefore, two identical high-resolution broadcast cameras were used simultaneously. A sample lens from Hoyer with its specific UV blocker was used in one camera, while the blue blocking lens was inserted in the optical pathway of the second camera. Therefore, a special optical system was built with identical settings in both cameras, except the respective lens. In order to closely simulate the signal processing of the human visual pathway, a white balance adjustment was performed prior to each scene. Both cameras operate simultaneously, with the image of the non-tinted IOL on the left and the image of the yellow IOL on the right. Yellow filters reduce the transmittance of the visible spectrum and change color perception to a certain degree depending on their spectral transmittance. This glass sphere is placed in front of a black background. It contains LEDs of certain wavelengths which change their color from blue via violet to red and green and back again to blue. No differences can be observed in visual performance at blue light compared to the clear IOL. In this situation, good quality standard halogen lights are used as a light source. Please pay attention especially to the various blue color gradations in the wings of these various butterflies. It is valuable to differentiate the term violet for shorter wavelength, namely 400 to 440 nanometers light, from blue for longer wavelength, 440 to 500 nanometers light. This amethyst nicely provides all facets of the violet spectrum. In our optical system, different spectral transmittance of the non-tinted and of this yellow IOL seems not enough to provoke significant measurable or visible differences in color vision between both IOLs. While using daylight behind these semi-permanent contrast acuity testing charts, no difference can be observed at 25% contrast. At 10% contrast, however, the low contrast vision seems to improve slightly with the yellow IOL compared to the non-tinted IOL. There seems to be a tendency that contrast at low contrast is slightly better in eyes with the yellow IOL compared with the non-tinted IOL under photopic conditions. This daylight scene of a landscape at noon supports the effect of this yellow IOL in the improvement of brightness perception. This effect may be caused by a reduction in opponent components of the chromatic and achromatic channels to brightness perception, causing a physiologically larger response than the response without the yellow IOL, and thus accounting for the increase in brightness. Moreover, the onset of the brightness increase effect with yellow IOL coincides with the chromatic threshold, and its endpoint coincides with the psychophysical estimates of rod saturation. Interestingly, 
The brightness perception seems to be higher when the spatial extension of the stimulus exceeds the fovea, which can be checked individually in this scene. Let's take a look at the next scenes with some driving situations mostly under mesopic lighting conditions. Please pay attention to the rear light of this car. Interestingly, in the yellow IOL, the grooves within the rear light reflector can be detected, while the non-tinted IOL on the left side does not allow any differentiation within the rear light at all. This finding suggests some protection against glare with the yellow IOL. No decrease in the visual impression with the yellow IOL can be observed, despite that these IOLs reduce light transmission to the eye. This suggests that the properties of these IOLs are able to enhance visual resolution to counteract the loss of light transmission to the eye. In this scene, with a beige taxi, the yellow IOL seems to lead to a positive influence on the brightness and contrast perception under mesopic conditions. This suggests that the subjective preference for a yellow IOL under these circumstances is not an entirely psychological perception. This pedestrian, crossing from the left to the right, can be detected and percepted similarly without significant differences between both IOLs. Please note that no difference is noticeable in the blue of the blue genes. Individuals like the authors, who believe that light is one factor in macular ageing, will always wear sunglasses in bright environments. For sunsets like this, however, we would take our sunglasses off. In conclusion, the yellow IOL reduces some optical chromatic aberration by blocking blue light. A slight enhancement of contrast sensitivity and a reduction in glare was observed with the yellow IOL. Only distinct differences in the image of the non-tinted IOL and the yellow IOL were detected. Our system revealed no significant colour discrimination alterations between the non-tinted and the yellow IOL. Nevertheless, the IOL chromophore design balances visual performance with macular protection. Of course, our optical system is unable to simulate all aspects of the human visual pathway. But we hope that our illustration of the small differences in visual performance between the two IOLs will help to achieve our ultimate goal – better understanding and outcome.